Welcome back to my channel guys, I'm Mariam. In today's video, I'm doing a full thorough review on Huda Beauty's new Power Bullet lipsticks in rosy tone. There are eight new colors, so I'm gonna be swatching them on my lips, giving you guys the scoop, the tea, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, Team Truth style. So help me make up gods. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Stay until the end to find out the verdict on whether these babies are worth your time and money, because you know how we do. Remember to subscribe, comment down below if you have any questions, comments, concerns, hit that notification bell, and let's do this. First swatch coming right up. So this first matte collection is in the rosy tone, so it's the rose collection. And we have two categories, cool and warm, and four color families in each of the two undertones. So we have the vampy rose, we have the true rose, the dusty rose, and the blushing rose. Each of these lipsticks are $25, and they will be available at Sephora and at HudaBeauty.com on March 14th. So I will link them down below for you guys. I think I wanna start from the lightest and work my way all the way to the darkest color. I'm gonna start with the warm blushing rose tone called Interview. Beautiful packaging, by the way. And the lipstick itself kind of looks like velvet, almost like Lisa Eldridge's lipsticks, but not literal velvet like hers. I like the pointed tip so you can accurately draw on your lip shape. So today I'm just gonna go straight from the tube, no lip liner, not too much outlining, and I'm just gonna swatch. Definitely a very, very comfortable formula. Glides on like a cream, sets pretty matte. This color I think is very, very flattering for pretty much any skin tone. I really like the way that it looks on me. Definitely complimentary to my eye look, complimentary to my lip shape, to my face shape. I like it. So far, so good. Just gonna use my Garnier Missler Eye Makeup Remover Pads to remove the lipstick. But I feel like my lips will be okay by the end of this video because these are traditional lipsticks. These aren't non-transferable, liquid lip type, difficult to remove lipsticks. So I I think I'll be okay. Moving on to Joyride. Joyride is a cool blushing rose. So far the formula of the first two, pretty consistent. Same exact formula, just a different color. I really like this one as well. Definitely on the cooler side, but kind of sexy. There's something about it. I think this one would look really great with a dark black smoky eye. I like this one. Next I'm gonna go into the dusty rose categories with third date, which is warm. Oh yes, look at that precision. Ooh, this is kind of sultry, almost like a berry tone on me. Perhaps um, a pinch of a mature color, but I'm not gonna say that I don't like it. I think it's really pretty and flattering. Not something that I would typically go for, but I can see this working on a lot of different skin tones, especially the very fair category. I think this one's for you. Again, very consistent formula, super creamy, glides on effortlessly. Third date, you're done, and we are now on to payday which is the cooler version from the Dusty Rose color family. All right, Dusty Rose, let's see what you got. Dusty Rose is typically not my favorite color category. I do think it's more like um, a grandma favorite. I gotta say, this is a really pretty color. I can't hate on it. It is Dusty Rose, it is definitely cool, but I like the purple undertone and me being a very warm skin tone, I think a cooler lipstick actually looks even more flattering than a warm. Although warm is very very safe and it's traditional, but a cool is definitely very contrasting and I feel like it balances out the skin tone even more. And it just makes it more golden, it makes it more poppin'. Not sure how I would wear this lip, but leave me some suggestions down below, I'd love to find out. So far, my favorite from the four that I've tried would be the first one, Interview. Just because I thought it was the most versatile color for me, but the quality of these lipsticks so far has been excellent, I cannot complain. Every single color has been consistent, Gliding on, super duper pigmented, easy to apply, easy to take off, no complaints really. I'm curious to see if the formula will shift once I get to the darker colors, because that's when you really can potentially see some changes. I am ready to move up a category. We are gonna go into the true rose category with the warm graduation day. This color, slightly harder to apply because it's a, just a pinch, pinch drier, but honestly, that's such a minor, tiny complaint that it's not even a complaint. Still beautiful formula, pretty consistent with the rest. I'm not certain if I would ever wear this color. It's just a little too concrete looking for me and my taste. Yes, 
It's rosy-ish, but I don't know if it's a warm rosy. It's more like a grayed out kind of rosy. So not my favorite of the bunch, but let me know if you disagree. So since this one was pretty cool and it was in the warm section, I wonder what pool party's gonna look like since that one is in the cool category. This pointed tip obviously becomes very dull the more you use this lipstick. So at first try, you will definitely be able to outline your lips perfectly. However, on the second try, <laughs> guess again. Definitely, definitely, definitely could use a lip liner for this particular one. Here's Pool Party, kind of a purpley, pinky, sort of rosy tone. Again, not my favorite color category. And so far, this middle right here is just a little too mature for my preference. You like my lippy? You like my lippy bunny? Kish, kish. The quality of these lipsticks, super consistent so far, like beautiful formula. I'm up to my favorite color category, the Vampy Rose. First in Ladies Night, which is the warm. <laughs> this one is a keeper. This is a gorgeous color. Would look great on any skin tone, any complexion, with any makeup look. It's just so beautiful, so sophisticated. I love this one. I live for this color. Ooh, I could just wear this all day. New favorite alert. Mm hmm. Okay, and last but not least, Masquerade. This one is stunning. It's almost blackened, cool, vampy rose that I might just want to apply with a lip brush. But let's see, I'm gonna start off just applying it as is. This one is just a pinch streaky, only because the color is just so deep that in order to get a full color payoff, you need to apply a couple of layers. And with a color this dark, it is most certainly appropriate to use a lip brush. I'm just gonna use this one that I have here from Motives, just to give myself a nice and precise line. You could say I'm obsessed with this color. This one is just so gorgeous, and it's so me. It just doesn't get any better. All right, I could stare at this color all day, but I think it's time to give you guys the verdict and my final thoughts on these new Huda Beauty Power Bullet lipsticks in the matte finish, starting with the Rosie collection. I have a feeling we are going to see more collections from Huda Beauty with these Power Bullet lipsticks. I think there's gonna be a Nudes collection. I definitely think there's gonna be a Reds collection. I am 100% here for it. I think the formula of these lipsticks is absolutely brilliant. It's probably one of the best bullet lipstick formulas that I have tried in a long time. Lisa Eldridge's would be my other favorite, but Huda, you knocked it out the park, girl. These are amazing. I would say the formula is a 9.5 out of a 10, you guys. Yes, there are just some slight inconsistencies with two of the colors that I mentioned, but they are so slight that <laughs> It literally would be just nitpicking. So I'm not gonna nitpick. I'm gonna give it a 9.5 because there's no such thing as perfect. The color collection, however, is just a pinch questionable. I am going to put it in this box, this imaginary box right here, that is for those people who might be into rosy colors. However, I am going to take myself out of this box because the rosy tones are just not for me. I do love the vampy colors and I love the one nude. The rest of the colors are just not my cup of tea. They're just not my flavor. They're not my stilo. However, if you are a rosy tone lipstick lover, then you might be into these colors. Those are my final thoughts. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you enjoyed my swatches. Thank you so much for watching, for subscribing, for being here. Definitely check out some of my other videos. I have more Huda Beauty reviews. I have more swatches of different lipsticks. KKW, some of my favorite red lipsticks. Check them out right here. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Mwah. Love you.